I just got this from Monos. I don't know if four pairs of pants is too much. Basically, we got home on Monday morning. We did a bunch of laundry. Now it's Thursday and it's time to pack for the next trip. I feel like I'm doing very preppy vibes. This town's so lame. I'm feeling so white. Good morning and welcome to this week's vlog. It is so nice to be back here, even if it's just for a short minute so that I can drink my celery juice in the morning and have my wonderful coffees. But we are going to Toronto on Saturday. So today I need to start packing for that trip. Kind of a long, funny story, but I managed to lose my suitcase. So I bought a new one. I just got this from Monos this week and I'm really excited to pack it for the first time. This is their bigger carry-on and I feel like it's gonna have lots of good space in there. It feels like the wheels are, are very good and spitty and there's lots of stuff inside for organization and compression as well. Packing for Toronto is a little bit more exciting than when I was packing for my last trip just because I'm gonna be like actually in the city and in fact when I'm in Toronto I generally like dress up and get ready more than I do here. What I always do as like a preliminary thing is kind of gather the clothing that I think I'm going to wear and if you've seen any of the other videos where I'm packing I also always just make a list on my phone with all of the different things that I know I want to bring. So some of those are in this pile as well. Basically we got home on Monday morning we did a bunch of laundry now it's Thursday and it's time to pack for the next trip. So I guess technically I'm not gonna be packing this outfit, but I do always like to know what I'm gonna wear when I'm traveling. And I think that this is gonna be a very cozy outfit to wear. The weather when I'm in Toronto is gonna be kind of all over the place. I finally caved and got the super puff vest. I got it in a size large because I wanted it to be big and oversized and also fit with all of my like big sweaters without them bunching in the armpits. This outfit with these dress pants is really comfortable as well. And I feel like as much as I want to look nice, I also just need to be comfortable these days. So I definitely wanted to wear this, especially I feel like going into fall or if it's like kind of weird in between weather, it could be good. And my husband got me these shoes for our wedding anniversary, which is amazing. I have wanted them for such a long time and I think that they are beautiful. So I'm really excited to wear these probably with like a bunch of different outfits, but I think particularly with this one, they will just make it look that much cooler. If you can't tell, I like packing in outfits. I feel like that makes it a lot easier when I'm actually somewhere because I know exactly like what I'm going to wear together. And obviously I can mix and match and do different things, but at least I have a basis of like what I want to wear. But I definitely wanted to bring these. These are the cargo jeans. I was wearing them in my last vlog. And this is just another like H&M stretchy ribbed tank top. I have been really liking the longer ones, but I do have some crop styles as well that I'll be bringing and then just like see what I want to wear. I'm definitely going to be bringing this faux leather jacket as well because I feel like it looks good with literally everything. I feel like I'm doing very preppy vibes so far with the packing on this trip, but I guess it's fall and I know that is like really in style right now, so I guess I'm getting inspired. Yeah, this just with the Birkenstock clogs, this is like exactly what I would have worn in high school, which is so funny, but it's all back again. I was trying to decide if I wanted to bring these jeans or if I wanted to bring another pair of blue denim. These ones are really comfy, like the waist is quite loose, which I love, but for some reason, like in the thighs, they're a little bit tighter. So when I sit down, like they're not as comfortable as my egg goldies, but I do really love the way they look, especially with a blazer like this. So maybe I'll bring these and my A Goldies. I don't know if four pairs of pants is too much. I guess I'll see what I can fit in my suitcase. And I'm also gonna bring two other white tank tops. This one is just a cropped one that I wear. I have two of these, I wear them all the time. And then this one is just a longer version. You can wear white tank tops with like every outfit. So I'm sure I will wear all three of these on the trip. I got this slip dress at Target a little while ago and I'm definitely gonna bring 
using it because I feel like it can be dressed down a little bit like this, or I can wear it a little bit more dressy too if I want to. Debating a pair of shorts, but these are pretty small, so I should probably just bring them in case it ends up being hotter than I think it's gonna be. And then for jeans, these A Goldie ones are always a good staple for me. Or I have these ones I thrifted. I feel like these ones might be a little tight on me right now, but I'm gonna try them on. Okay, yeah, these are not bad. They do still fit. I feel like the other ones were more comfortable, so I'm gonna bring those ones if I have the space. I did wanna bring this hoodie as well, if it'll fit in my carry-on, just cause it's so cozy. I'm gonna bring two workout sets. This one from Set Active that I love. This is just like leggings and a little bra top, which also like on a casual day would look really cute with this um, sweatshirt. Or I could wear it with my blazer too, if I wanted to look a little bit more professional. And also my Lulu line top and shorts, which I could wear with one of the button ups open or the blazer or this hoodie. I think I'm gonna throw in this cardigan too. It's from Aritzia and it's just like comfy, but also looks kind of nice. I actually really like it with these pants cause it's a little bit longer. I feel like this would be good for like going out for dinner on those nights that it's gonna be a bit colder. I could always wear the leather jacket over top of it too. I feel like I've almost got all of the like main components of what I need to bring, which is great. Okay, let's see if I can uh, get all this stuff in here along with my toiletries and like my underwear and socks. My battery died, but it all fits, which is amazing. I am thrilled that all of that clothing fit in here and it wasn't even too hard to close it, which is great. I'm pretty happy I did get everything to fit in this suitcase. And then this is a bag, I just got it on Amazon, but I love it because it has this little handle hook thing. So it's just super easy. And then I'm also gonna put my like liquids in that bag just so I can take them out and stuff really easily when I'm going through security. And hopefully I won't have to unpack my whole bag. I feel like every time I've flown this year, they've like pulled my bag aside and made me look through it with someone from security, which is fun. I'm so 